crazy to be, to be honest. It seems, I said it like a week or two ago, it seems like this is the roller coaster of 500. Like we've just been like two and three, three and two, three and two, like just right around 500 the entire year through every stretch. Like we lose two games in a row, we, lose, we win two games in a row. It's not like we've gone through like really big stretches of either. And it's, it's just crazy to think that we're we're still like right there. And we got games on hand too, which is great. Um, sometimes that's what happens. So, you know, if we're not in a playoff spot in day eight, uh, game 81, and we are in game 82, that's fine. Who cares? Like, it doesn't matter. <laughs> like, at the end of the day, like, you want to be in a playoff spot, yes, I'm sure, the entire season. But as long as you're in after 82, it really doesn't matter if you're in right now. You guys got off to a very fast start there. Your line gets a start. Just how did it feel just knowing that you guys were out there for the first goal and you got the assist? Yeah, no, it was huge. Um, obviously, uh, we knew having a back to back, we had to have a good start, especially against this team that, you know, they're a real workhorse team. So um, having that good start and just kind of getting the boys going, uh, important to to kind of start like that and kind of set the tone early. Um, so it started with the face off and Joey. Uh, good job by the D getting it in and four check by Wadi. And, and uh, we just kind of controlled the pace there. I think Ellie got a really good uh, shot on that. We went low to high and, uh, you know, Joey banged home that rebound. So it was huge to kind of set the tone that early and kind of start the way we did. And you guys played a really dominant for a second period. It's a little bit frustrating, I'm sure, too. What changed? Was it what Columbus was doing or was it what you guys were doing in the second? Yeah, no, I think uh, it was kind of one of those things where maybe we got away from a little bit of our identity that made us successful the first period um, we kind of cleaned that up I thought a little bit in the, the third period and, and moving forward and I think that was just something that Heinze was stressing uh, just trying to you know the little details there getting pucks in and kind of doing what was successful for us and that's getting pucks behind their D and kind of playing that grind mindset especially on a back-to-back -back like that try to outwork them and know that you know we're coming for 60 minutes and you know uh, Juice played a great game and, and was able to keep us in there and we got some timely goals to, to climb back there and three or four points in a back-to-back -back. is that one of those things where you just feel like it's successful to get those three or four points. Obviously, four or four would be the, the goal, but three or four pretty good back to back, right? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think every single point is you know, imperative this time of the year. So it's kind of one of those things where, um, you know, you get in a shootout or overtime or, or regulation. Uh, it's kind of one of those things where, you know, this is a, you look at the standings, how tight they are and they're climbing. So, you know, every single point counts, uh, like I said. And um, it was kind of one of those things where it's huge for us, but at the same time, that, that first period is how we want to play the rest of the year and, you know, how we can play. And we kind of have to string those together. And for you, obviously, with a few games, but getting right back into it, it'd be pretty easy to just jump right back in, knowing you've been here for a little bit too. Yeah, definitely. Uh, way more comfortable this time around and all the systems are the same and whatnot so uh, you know playing with good players no matter who you're playing with so playing with Wadi and Joe tonight made it just that much easier so um, they're out there a little bit uh, uh, older older guys uh, been around for a little while now so uh, just kind of being a sponge out there and they're kind of quarterbacking me out there so um, it's easy to play with awesome. yeah, thank you yeah it was a big it was a big uh, a big reason why we wind up winning you know one of the things we had talked about was being better at home on Saturday nights and making sure that we were uh, mentally prepared to play and get off to a good start and I think we did that in the second period we didn't obviously play as well and they climbed back in the game but we you know we stuck with it and found a way to uh, tie the game and then um, you know I, that's another step for our team you know the the fact that we gave up the lead but we found a way to be able to tie it and then and then dig in, in the third period and, and, and find a way to win the game obviously in the shootout so step in the right direction and uh, it was a bit of a grind game for us. You know, they were rested. We were in the back-to-back -back, uh, with travel. So, you know, you can anticipate that you may not play a, a great 60 minutes, but you have, these are the games you have to have mental toughness and, and a complete team effort. And I thought we did that for the most part.